Okay, so for those of you that are new to Canvas, I just want to give you a little bit of a uh, walk through what you see here. So when you log in, the home screen is actually the same thing as the module screen. Um, so that's how I've set up this particular course. And essentially what you've got is you've got some administrative items up front, uh, many of which you've already seen before. So you've got the uh, instructor video, you've got the syllabus, you've got the syllabus presentation video, and then you have a link to the homework log. Now this is the same Google Doc that I shared with everybody um, following the, or just before the last class, so uh, we're using the same document since we didn't move to Google Classroom, so you can continue to use that document, although I have changed it around to reflect some changes in how the course will roll out in terms of due dates and that. So the next thing that you'll find here are some samples that are available and I emailed these out since you didn't have access beforehand. So um, you know there's four here that were ones that um, Dr. Redmond highlighted for me in particular but I will indicate that if you actually click on the accessing samples um, item you can see that you can access all of the samples that uh, have been done in there so you'll get a, a much more robust list there and you never know there might be ones that have already been done on your particular topic so scrolling down you'll see that all of the section one items are there uh, there are two new things that you need to pay attention for from section one the first is that uh, because we didn't get a chance to uh, talk about um, Clark 83 in class plus there are some lessons that are in Clark 83 that I think are important for moving towards the IRB form completion uh, I've got a video that I've prepared there for that so you want to watch that the other thing is and this is how I'll know that you're in and that you can actually access the materials ac easily um, you'll see that here's a spot for you to be able to upload either an actual document or a link so you can e email me you can set a Google Doc you can send it to me if you have posted it on Weebly or you can actually upload the file um, note that this is set up in the same way the grading scheme is set up so this assignment doesn't count towards your final grade I'll leave here but that will let me know that um, you're in here and that you have access to things you'll note I've got a lot of resources here related to our second class coming up this week um, so that's the one we're going to be doing via Zoom um, on February the 9th and um, one of the things that will likely help you a great deal before that is this video here on completing the IRB form although I think all of these items here will be useful and many of them are resources that I've shared with you in the emails that I've sent out. Um, in session three, which is basically the times when we are doing the individual meetings, this is when you're going to probably get more into the literature because I told you to focus upon the IRB for the next two weeks. And then the remaining sessions I've actually already got set in the system, but they're not showing yet. And that way you end up not having the ability to essentially watch the videos of previous lectures for the ones I'm going to do in class because I'd much rather you actually engage in class while they're going on. So these here sections four through eight will likely be released a day or so before class happens. So that's sort of the the main ways around. You'll notice there's a couple of other things while the assignments show up in each of the sessions that they are due you can actually access all of them by clicking on assignments here and it lists off all the ones that at least are available to you at this point there is a discussion section and I'll set up a couple of discussions here in a bit um, for you uh, actually a couple of discussion areas I should say you can get a list of all the people that are in here which right now is just uh, me teacher and me test student and then as the course moves on you'll be able to get all of your grades uh, here with the grading area so that's basically all of um, canvas here and you can see basically most of it is in the home or the modules area with just a couple of other things to pay attention to as we are working through